Rampant, who's a collection of new paintings by the British artist Sam Branton. Inspired by 18th century neoclassicism, and painters such as George Stubbs and Jean-Baptiste Doudry, they present scenes of an idealised antique world, where the humans have left and the animals have run amok. The works are playful, humorous, charmingly innocent and surreal, and explore how much our ideas about landscape and the natural world are tinged by imagination. Sam Branton is a British artist who is based in Oxford. Until now, he has worked principally in drawing, creating delicate scenes, either in black and white or coloured pencil, that describe his feral neoclassical world. Elaborate detail and subtle lighting enhanced the surreal charge of his compositions. Every work was a glimpse into a magical netherworld where the beasts pushed the boundaries of their own nature. Fauna Rampant brings this world into colour with dramatic effect. In colour, it becomes lush and verdant, a garden of Eden with hints of 18th century pleasure gardens. Water is essential, like in any garden, and these works revel in it. Rain falls in plump droplets as aquatic animals convene with their terrestrial or avian friends. An otter in fish-rich waters meets with a toucan perched on the bough of a fruit tree. Or a monkey caught in a storm shelters from rain that falls in drops like rainbow-coloured sweets while the fish and birds revel around him. Bizarre combinations of animals is one way in which Sam Branton explores how our ideas of landscape and nature are dependent on imagination. This is true of the neoclassical landscape, where designers such as Capability Brown changed the land to present an ideal of antiquity as if it were real. Sam's painterly references, George Stubbs and Jean-Baptiste Doudry, both renowned for their animal paintings in the 18th century, also presented their subjects in these classical settings. Imagery of game and prize stallions mixed with antique motifs such as horses tussling with lions. Fantastic beasts in classicised environments became a rich theme. Udry painted Clara the Rhinoceros in 1749 and in 1772 Stubbs painted the Konguru of New Holland, the first image of an Australian animal in Europe. The landscape and the natural world were not simply a matter of fact or observation, they were the place where the fantastical became true. Sam Branton travels deep into this bizarre and surreal world to reveal glimpses of its inhabitants. A deer being saved by a humpback whale. A squid grappling with a swan on a feasting table. Animal innocence sees them toy with human artistic achievement, as if the fabric of imaginative invention itself were vulnerable. A dog tears a floral wallpaper. A bear takes a particular shine to a miniature portrait. And a monkey toys with a precious piece of blue and white ceramic. Pastel pinks and blues hark back to 18th century painting, lending the works a whimsical Rococo quality, while the moody brown brushwork is redolent of painters such as Gainsborough. Their form too hints at an elusive grand plan. All are on canvas paper, cropped to small size, as if they were fragments of a long-lost larger whole, echoing the motif of the ruin or partial remain that was so popular in neoclassicism. Together, they act like glimpses into a grand canvas of nature run wild, into classicism and nature as conceptual spaces and stages for imaginative play.